the fucking speech, oh. the speech in Dog. episode yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about Bro. that ding dang yeah. speech. Bro. <laughs> four, three, two. Uh, good evening, Avalir and Kath Moira. I, no. Good evening, Toramunda. It is I, Loquacious Seely. I report the news. Win, draw, or lose. I am your heartfelt, handsome herald, addressing you now for the last time. Ahem. Fire. <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> Chaos. But also hope. Fear is in the air, but the spirits of Avalir are strong, and our brothers and sisters in Kathmoira inspire us with their bravery, sincerity, and pure, forgiving hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the replenishment is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Our centuries-old bond severed. <clears throat> the truth is, our wizards have failed you. The Septarium, the Ring of Gold, Loris of the Weaver's Mask, liars, traitors, scoundrels, and curs. Their hubris run amok. But our two cities are like a married couple. We may have our differences. Oh we may not have the same goals. We may even separate for a time. Oh. But we are connected by love for eternity. We made a promise to each other, and it's one we must fulfill. Tonight, right now, a grave danger approaches your homes, but don't trust me. Trust someone else, and I will transform my face and body into Eldemir the Wise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. It is I, Eldemir the Wise. Loquacious speaks true, as, as always. There are prehistoric terrors and man-made mistakes abound. But you can survive if you use your clever minds and passionate hearts to run. Flee now, take nothing but your loved ones, and get off Kath Moira immediately. You have until sunrise. Take every available sky ship at the galley. There are five. Take any means you need to to escape this place from Avalir. Use your magic to save yourself. I have instructed all the ruling elites and administrators of this city to go down with the ship. If you are hearing my voice and you are part of the administration, any administration, you must stay aboard this city as it falls. Uh, and then uh, my face transforms back into loquacious. Well, you heard it there, folks. Please. <laughs> Remember your oh, Avalir oh. siblings and the sacrifices we made for you. Remember Seret, the eyes of Avalir and his bravery. Remember Nidus, the dragon, and his sense. Remember Pesha Porco, keeper of scrolls, and all the wisdom she brought. Remember brave Xerxes and Evandrin, the first knights of Avalir. And remember the architect arcane. Laren, the most beautiful woman in the world. First of all, and I don't also, I, don't, I don't know if I even want to know, but whether that quaver, quaver in your voice uh, when you say and to and to Laren, the architect oof, arcane, uh, the most beautiful woman in the world, it it makes me almost cry every time I've every watched time. it, of the hundred times yeah. I've watched yep. it. It makes me almost want to cry. It's so profoundly beautiful. And whether that was honest emotion or performance, it's equally magical either way. It was definitely honest. I I am not a very good actor as, as opposed to what you. I said earlier, but yeah, I, I, I fell in love with her during the game. It was amazing. It's beautiful. Okay, okay. And remember, the architect arcane, Laren, the most beautiful woman in the world. And also, remember the Market of Wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Specializing in Mercer's Discount Spell Ink. <laughs> we'll beat the price of any other ink maker in town or your next bottle is free. <laughs> I'm Loquacious Seely, 
<laughs> and I'll drop my golden complexion and just use my true face, my true changeling face, saying, see you later. I don't use this, I don't say this lightly. The, the, from that beautiful moment of Laren where you're like, oh my God, this is someone who's literally grappling in the moment with the fact that moments ago he made the decision to die. Made the decision, made the decision to go down with the ship. Yes. And, for, and, and is speaking about the reason that he chose to do that. And then the moment after that, and remember the market of wonders. <laughs> <laughs> I, just need to say, I just need to say, that is, and I've seen, you know, I've been lucky enough to see a couple of them in my life. That is a perfect joke. Yes. <laughs> it is a, it is a, yes. it is a perfect joke because to do something that funny that comes at a moment, do you know what I'm saying? There's, 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 this is like a Campbell quote, but he literally says something about comedy. Campbell says something about comedy where he says, comedy completes the realization that drama begins, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, you know, it, it, where there's something where it's like, oh, I have not contradicted the depth of my sorrow. I have not contradicted the meaningfulness of my sadness, but I have introduced something profoundly absurd and <laughs> wonderfully silly. And I am not uncommitted in the moment of doing it. In the moment of doing it, this is exactly what I would do. And it's hysterical. And it's also makes it even more sad. It makes the sad thing <laughs> yeah. more, just like, and remember the market of wonders. <laughs> so, it's so I, fucking good. I think Nidus down, down in is watching in rapture. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Oh. Oh. In, in, in general, that was incredible. In general, roles tend to be asked for in moments where um, chance is required. But occasionally people, without needing to roll a die at all, just give you a nat 20. <laughs> and so that deception check, as the administration of the city hears that they are being commanded to stay and see this through, allows the populace of Avalier to rush towards the horizon. <laughs> and with those administrators staying, not only are the five galleys of the Golden Scythe kept, all the, the sky ships, all the private vessels, machines, ornithopters, carpets, all manner of things are made ready and in that broadcast is a candle of hope held forward into the world that the people of this city might have a chance, which is more than the great archmages of the Septarian would ever have given them. Let's brag um, on Sam for a minute because yeah. we had a conversation a really long time ago, like, I don't know, five, six years, we were still in campaign one. Oh. And we were talking about like how we role play. And I was kind of, I, I don't even remember how it came about in conversation, but was kind of asking like how you access new things and you call back to things and like where you are influenced from your character's decisions. And you said like, I just always try to remember what came before. Like everything like, it, in these formative like, rungs of a ladder. So I just always try to think about like what has already happened and that's what, which you know, sounds really like basic when you, <laughs> when you say it out there, but I think it is something that people it's easy to forget, especially when you're in the moment. And, uh, you know, that's always kind of like stuck with me. And I think that speech that you wrote was like a master class yeah. in just being 100% informed from everything that had already happened. Yeah. And cause it's easy to make shit up and you could have made something up about like, you know, the, the Avalier, where it's going and whatever, mm -hmm. but everything was referenced mm. from something that had previously happened. 
and Chicken yeah, it was scratch. just incredible. Yeah. On a legal yeah. pad, yeah, the only you really could read. <laughs> done in the, <laughs> done in the <laughs> shadows, yeah. in like a matter of minutes, while you were standing next to all of us being dumbasses on a break. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't came back with that. One oh my God. bragging thing. Oh my God. Because uh, I was talking to uh, a bunch of friends, and we were like, they're also like our RPG people, and they were like, what's the most, like, what's your favorite decision you ever made in a game? And my answer, and it remains to this day, was when we were in our character gen, and you came in, you're like, I kind of want to be divorced. Who wants to do it? Best decision ever made was being like, me, 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 pick me. Yeah. yeah. Because this was it the was most fun. Yeah, I like, did. Like, I had no chill about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I will lunge for Laura. I'm like, don't stop. Let me have this. <laughs> I don't want to fight you, it was but great. I will. It was great. So thank it was great, you. For great pair up. Well, great it really